And hello everyone, this is Food Fire TV again. We're here with third scratch tutorial. In this one I'm going to be teaching you advanced advanced motion technique. So here we have our first going main the last tutorial, our first script scratch. Very first one. Makes the cat move left and right. Now in this tutorial, we're go I'm going to be teaching you on some more advanced aspects of it. So, we use the move 10 steps one, and if on edge bounce. Well, now I'm going to be teaching you about using these turn turning different degrees. Now these can actually be very useful to use them correctly. Let's just put it in here for now. See, right now it moves in circles. Like this. If you want to make it look a little bit more natural, then we might want to have it so it be rotates like so. Well, it doesn't look natural, but I get the point. Oh, um, there's also this one. We turn 15 degrees the other way. Okay. Um. So. Here, actually, let me get in the new script. So right now, now we're going to use these blocks. These are very good if you want to change the x or y position of this by a certain amount or set to a certain amount. So let's say one click the green flag, so the x position is zero and the y position is zero. So let's move this. So right now. And by the way, um, zero, zero, it's in the center of the screen. Right here. So move to that. And there's also these blocks, which change the x or the y by a certain amount. So if I do this, change x by 10 and y by 10, it'll go like this. And I, and I can also set this to negative numbers. and so forth. Um, then there's this interesting little block. I find it actually very useful in multiple um, cutscene scenarios and games. This lets you glide to a certain position. Right now it says glide for one second to so and so. Look this. It takes one second to glide there. If I were to say glide for 0.2 seconds, it will go faster. If I said glide for 5 seconds, it will go slower because it takes this certain amount of time, exact amount of time, to glide to that one position. And very useful. Um, okay, I'll save these for later. I'll explain them here. This one self explanatory go to a certain position immediately. This one lets you point, this one makes it so you can point in a certain direction. I right hear point in direction 90, 90 degrees. By the way, um, straight up is 0 degrees, the right is 90, 180, and negative 90. So I can set it to this. Oh, it's second only set to pre rotate. There we go. I can do this. And I can also specify my own certain direction. Again, very useful. Um, these right here, these are only useful if you have multiple sprites. It lets you 
um, actually right here, oh, um, you can have it so it points towards where our mouse pointer is, and so it's forever loop, really quickly. So now it will point where my mouse pointer is forever, which also is what the, the red stop sign for. This one, and this one says, and go to a certain strike or the mouse pointer. See right now I'm controlling where it is. Forever go to mouse pointer. Um, and those are pretty much your more advanced motion blocks. I'm not going to get to these yet. Um, but that's pretty much it. This is through the Fire TV, signing out.